welcome to Shadow Empress Tarot. I am a messenger of the Most High with the power to travel through the shadow realms. I am here to guide you through spiritual warfare so you can achieve your soul's desires. What you need to know is God is my guide, truth is my religion, and my channel is intense shadow work. So if you are mentally or emotionally unstable, you've been warned. Good morning. Good afternoon. Whatever is a good evening, whatever time you're watching this. I'm kind of excited about this one. Because like, I love reading about the chosen just not the people who attack the chosen because they are so redundant. But let's get into it. If you are positive, you better bless this place. If you are negative, you better get up on my face. If you are positive, you better bless this place. If you are negative, you better get up out my face. <laughs> and whoever tried to attack, attack this chosen should have decided to just get out their face. But, you know, these people are infected with demons, so... What can you do? You know, they just crazy. But anyway, so before I get started, um, for you guys that um, typically watch all the videos, you may have heard this. Um, we've had this conversation where I get mad every time witchcraft comes on my table because I'm like, I'm tired of doing this. And Spirit had that talk to me, talk with me to explain like, you know, you got to deal with your irritation about it because you won't be able to do the work. So I'm pulling for this this morning before I get hop in the shower. And here it comes again. And instead of going into my irritation, I stopped it. And I realized that if I would have been in my irritation i wouldn't have been it's literally i felt the irritation about to stop the if the flow of information that was coming to me i was like oh okay spirit so when i stopped it man poof like immense downloads about this story and just about everything that's been coming out on this table so one of my irritations is that i keep this witchcraft keeps coming on my table and I realize it's not the same story. And I'm, you know, spirit won't tell me that because they want me to do the work and come to realizations by myself with the knowledge that they give me because it's more potent that way. That's when you actually have learned. I love my spirit team. So the story is not the same. And I have mentioned before that um, in another reading that these demons part of like it's a war plan to actually, especially because of the age or whatever and witchcraft and all that stuff is coming back. This is a war plan for the demonic energies to attack chosen chosen ones with magic. And I realized something. That there are 144,000 chosen. I might do this reading 144,000 times. What I realized going back to all the readings that a chosen has popped up on. And magic is that. The people are the same because the entities attached to them like they don't have soul. So they run the same script over and over. The narcissistic, uh, the, the narcissistic script, the seven deadly sins script, because they are demonic. 
the, they just run the same thing once they get into the vessel or attached to the vessel of the person. They run the same script. That's what's the same. But what I realized this morning is the chosen that ends up on my board is not. I recalled, and especially this one really set all of them apart, is that they each had a different energy. Like they even had like some of them possess the same powers, but they have a different energy. They possess different powers. The chosen is different. And the reason why everybody resonates, those those that are chosen, they resonate because you part of the 144. Like y'all, y'all, the same energy, like y'all conquered the same battles. So you resonate. This one right here, though, <laughs> it's a pleasure. <sighs> this is going to be another reading of you fucked around and you found out. But the pleasure is to meet this soul today. So let's get into it. I'm already seeing where I'm like, what a joke. And it's the instant smoking tough today. It ain't going out. Because this chosen is full of fire. They are high ranked. Like this is a general. And the reason why they are a general is because of what they have conquered here on this earth plane. Because you see, The Matrix, you need to know that movie is actually a documentary. And I put my soul on that. Just like when um, Neo um, was in the Matrix and there's homie in the, on the ship and he's downloading programs for martial arts and stuff into his system so he can remember how to or learn how to use those energies. Well, it happens. That happens both ways. This and what I mean by both ways this chosen has mastered the energy of war. Which gives them, gives their spirit, like all of us who are chosen have mastered spiritual warfare. But when I say war, I mean not just war in the spiritual, like this is a soul that has been a murderer, a warrior, like on this earth plane, and they and it didn't ruin their soul. They learned their lessons. They have they've paid their karma, and they have that, like in a video game when you have like, um, like the like you get the wings, and that means you can fly and all this type of stuff. You get different like powers in a video game. Like when we say we got the power of manifestation, some people have the power of this, that this was earned like in a video game. And whenever you're in a fight, you can go into your, your, uh, what you call it? I don't even play video games, but your, um, your arsenal and then put that, that tool in your energy and then you go out and fight or whatever on a video, video, video game. This person. This soul has let evil infect their entire being. And they were able to withstand that. And 
and over lifetimes learn and reflect on war. Hey, what I'm seeing about this person, look at this. This person took this energy and made it into this energy. Not a lot of people can become warriors and stuff in lifetimes. It literally rots their soul, murdering people, cutting their heads off, poking their eyes out. And most of the time, like in war, people think that they have, there's a cause. I don't care if you, in a past life, you were a Knights Templar. You found a reason to kill people. Ain't no reason to kill people. You could have been a um, warrior for Genghis Khan. This is one of those souls that came back time after time murdering people. I can see it in my mind's eye. They have been infected with evil. This person has been a predator. And they were able to master that. They were let they were able to let evil take over them and they made peace with it. They paid their they paid their karma. They learned from evil. This chosen in their soul energy and their soul data, they literally hold the power of war. This person on this earth plane in their lifetimes have been vicious. A Viking. Like, this is a person in their lifetime that when wartime came in every single one of them lifetimes, they were able to shut their emotions off and they were able to kill. Like in those movies when somebody raid the towns or whatever and then they put the bodies up on stakes and stuff like that like to show that they conquered the people and all that like that type of person. <laughs> hey. So you know the war plan for the demons is to attack the chosen through witchcraft. It's one of their main battle plans. <laughs> you know, demons use souls and, and people's spots in this game. They don't care nothing about nobody. They don't care. They know who the soul is. These people... We as souls, we are expendable to them. Like we, we ain't nothing. We are a means to an end. And they, these demons then led these people into a damn trap. I mean, they usually do when it comes to the chosen. But like this person has the power of war. And they, their spirit team, their legions are activated. And so that means... That even though they have learned not to manifest that type of evil here on the earth plane, it's still in their their knowledge. So their spirit team can access that power and use it according to spiritual law. Do you hear me? So the viciousness that this person has inside of their soul, their spirit team is able to use it they are able to see i didn't do the i didn't do the cards because i'm so excited about telling you about this but i didn't already started i'm not gonna go through the cards they have used it they can use it to bring the tower on this person's enemies Surprise. Surprise. This person's soul is committed to the most high and the order of this realm. <laughs> so 
So the mastery of war that's in this chosen soul, their spirit team can bring this shit down in the physical. Hey, because it's theirs. That's why, you know, they say this place is a school. And when you learn your lessons, nobody can take what you know away from you. It's in your soul. Uh, like in spiritual law, whatever these people are doing to this chosen, it gives their spirit team to the right to access this energy inside of this person to bring the pain. And boy, oh boy, I know these people going to be feeling the pain. Hey, these people. Mm -mm -mm. Is you getting your ass beat? Huh? This soul has always been triumphant when it comes to war. Even when they incarnated on this earth plane, no matter how vicious, whatever, whether it was a Knights Templar, whether it was a Viking, they was they was part of the, the A team. And now this person, because they have they sold and become rotten, a lot of people who experience war and they become a part of war, they actually lose their soul. Some of them realize they love pain. I've read people and I, I can see that they had nightmares and shit. And I'm like, hey, this is you. This person started to enjoy torturing people and stuff. Like, this is like the person for the king that like is the ex executioner. It's like, yeah, you didn't go out there and murder that person, but you allow somebody to control you and tell you to, to kill a person. It's just like, and when you're alive, you... Feel like you don't have to take responsibility because the king told you or whatever. And you can be an executioner in a lifetime and get a demon on you. And you're forever rotted in the inside and you never learn from becoming a part of that type of evil. This person has won war in the physical and the spiritual. This person is a beast in this realm. They always win. This is a soul that can withstand pure evil and come out to the light. Is you crazy? Yeah, people be crazy. This person... is aware of their energy and the energy around them. They are aware of magic, alchemy, war, spiritual war. I need my fan back on. So next we have the hermit. And when I pick this, pick up this hermit, I always see just like the hermit. I always read it normal. But today, today I saw this hermit as a dead ass soul. Like, look, why he looked like a a gray alien? Is you dead, Mister Hermit? This is an infected soul that has been forced to reflect on who this person is. The hermit is clarified by the queen of wands. I was like, what, please? Like, you know, because at first I was like, I don't want to know magic. And I'm like, when I got the Queen of Wands and the Hermit, I already was like, this is magic. Why is this person crazy? Then I was like, clarify that spirit. Then it's like the, the power of three. They are using 
they're getting uh, attracting groups of three, like three rotten souls. Their game plan is to do this across the board. Three rotten get three rotten souls to go against chosen somehow, some way. They are manipulating these souls to do this. This is happening to multiple chosen. So I'm like, okay, this look like magic. So I literally, because I didn't want it to be. <laughs> hey, spirit funny. So I was like, give me one more spirit. This card flips out and goes smack right dead on top of the hermit. Like, you know what it is. <laughs> spirit be like, girl, get over it. So, hey, this person dibbles and dabbles in magic. Dark magic. But what they didn't know and what these people don't think about first, I don't know why. I guess these demons got people missing a step. Because even when you're doing light magic, you should consult your guys to see if this is appropriate. These people don't check first. And if they did, they would know that they were outranked. Look, oh dummy. Look, you got one sunflower and here you got two big sunflowers. So this person, oh, I don't forget all about this because I don't even be thinking about it. This person is out ranked this person is the sun this person believes they're the sun they go out and do magic to force energy to be this lion this sun energy to be around them and it's really not theirs it's really not their truth So they had to reflect like, hey, well, let me take a closer look. Like, it made this, this, these people had to take a closer look. Because they just knew they were going to, like, these people, they've done this before. And it always works. To some extent, whatever they do. Hey, it's so many. It's so many people. These three people. Three rotten souls. And it's many people. This is a. I mean, on the planet. So many people do magic. I do. But people do it for fun. And these people, once again, did their magic for fun. And now they have to reflect. They got to look closer. Like, are you serious? It's not fun anymore. The laughing stops. Because they've never had judgment come upon them for what they've done to previous people so when this karma these curses whatever type of magic they was doing on this chosen Is passing judgment on them. They are all in the hermit. They have been forced into reflection. They have to see their story because when you're doing this magic, they're like, oh, why is this not working? So now, now you want to check in with the spirit realm. Now you want to pull cards. Now you want to look through black mirrors. Now you want to find out who this person is. Now you want to find out their story. But if you find out their story, you're going to find out yours. 
you're going to find out that this person is chosen and that you're infected with demons. And you're going to find out that demons can never outrank a general that has opened up his legions. Yeah, that's why your face pale and white and you looking dead like a gray alien. Because you spook now. <laughs> because God don't like you. And I don't want to hear God like everybody. God don't like everybody. God love everybody, but God don't like everybody. It's a difference. God be like, you crazy as hell. I love you so. Whatever you did in previous lifetimes, whatever. But you got to go. So sorry. I send you to death with love. Die now. <laughs> hey, I don't want to laugh, but like legit. Like y'all know. It's okay. It's okay. Love and light is not always bright. It's okay. <laughs> Cause, hey, I think I could give you the cards as it goes since I didn't give you the cards. I really don't want to start doing that because, like, it's important to see the cards. So up under the judgment, you got the two of swords. You got the nine of swords. And you have the nine of uh, the nine of wands, and you have country and Tokyo. Look, this person made the wrong choice, and now because of this, this the specific power of this chosen, they getting beat the hell up. They thought they was out here with their swords, using their hands for magic that, that hurts and harms. Look, because of who this person was, like they getting beat up in the head and probably got their eyes poked out. Let me tell you something. Because of who this person was on the physical, like they did this. They bashed heads. They poked out eyes, but they mastered, th mastered this. So whatever is happening to this person, is manifesting in their physical body because that is what this person mastered in their lifetimes. They mastered getting the virus out of their soul and learning from war, like the pleasure that they got and the triumph that they got from bashing heads, poking out eyes or whatever is in their soul memory. If you take this wrap off this person's head, they probably got a piece of their skull missing. They probably got an eyeball hanging. Like, because that's that karma. Like, they are starting to, whatever they sent into the nature of the this chosen's power, they are feeling the effects in their body to the point where they just got to get on their knees. They can't even fight because they head and their eyes poked out. They got to cover their chest. And they heart so they don't get stabbed up and punched all up in the guts and ribs broken. They just like, they in protection mode right now because like, look. These people might end up with some damn stomach cancer or a heart attack or something. Because of the nature of this chosen's gift and what their spirit team has access to. From their arsenal. Look. Hey. They worry like. Oh my God. I'm about to die. Maybe. That just might be the case. And I'm not even playing. 
look. They about to die. Because... And they know it because they spirit team, their legions is activated. This chosen is completely woke. And look, you got the you got nine wands and nine swords. Each one of these nine wands then stabbed this person all up in the head. Look, these people are probably feeling physical pain for messing with this chosen. Their spirit team is not. Play. <laughs> oh my god, they're not playing. Like, all of that, all of those lifetimes that this person came and did war and spit fire and mastered that, like, their, their spirit team has turned that, like, like access this person's energy and turn that on uh, up against this person. It's a mastered energy. They don't have to do it. Their spirit team is like, okay, they can tap in. When you connect it energetically with your spirit team, you can download information from them and they can upload information from you. And this is what this person's spirit team has uploaded from their energy to bust this person in the head. Look. <laughs> Why am I enjoying this? <sighs> oh my God. I guess this is my Mars and Scorpio because I enjoy it. I'm sorry. I learned, I've, I've earned that from lifetimes. Okay. So. Mm. This, these people cross enemy lines. And got destroyed. Stay in your lane. Stay in your own country. Don't come over here trying to take my resources. Because you about to get bust in the head. Eye for an eye. Eye for an eye. And you messing with this, this chosen. They about to take both your eyes. And your third eye. Any more eyes? They taking them too. Look. This person's soul is rowdy. The type of evil and carnage this person had to tame inside of themselves is crazy. This is like a soul that would just slice up throats and stuff like that and be like, <laughs> hey, and they mastered it. I, I know I keep saying that, but it's, I can't properly explain. I feel like I can't properly exp explain what I'm witnessing in my mind's eye. It is glorious. To say the least. Like, I don't know how to put this in words. Like, these people have attacked an angel demon or something. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, let's keep going. So, third row. We have the Four of Wands, the Mop, and the Horse. Look, like I said. This person is stable and protected. Look at these three. These three are on the outside, and their spirit team has come to clean it up. But let me tell you something that has, when I pulled all this out, I'm like, okay, for whatever reason, spirit wants, to, wants us to know the character of this particular power of three. One has a Jezebel spirit. One is narcissistic and has like a big ego, maybe a God complex. And one is just 
evil. If you don't get your leg, you bent back about to crawl up on the walls and stuff? Like, um, do we need an exorcist? One is just infested with like, and they just love evil things. But every single one of them has a demonic spirit on them. This one right here may have multiple. So, you got uh, in their energetic field, all around their energetic field, these power of three is trying to infect this person's stability here on this earth realm. Their ability to move forward, their fertility, whatever they was doing. But look, this, their spirit team came with a mop to clean up all that toxic shit that's around them because they are chosen. Like I said, when you are chosen and you are connected to your spirit team, they download to you and you upload to them. We are biological computers. This place is an illusion Numbers, zeros, and ones. This is like a computer. We are inside a game. A holographic game. Take it or leave it. This is what's been downloaded to me. And even science is proving this. I don't have to like. I'm not going to try to prove that point, but I'm just saying it is what it is. This is how it works. And like I told you, what this person mastered on the physical, all that war and stuff, and their soul survived it and became stronger, A, their spirit team uploaded that, it ain't this the chariot? Their spirit team uploaded that energy and went in and started, look, laying down the law with that gift that's inside of this chosen. These people are getting ran the fuck over. I mean... What I'm witnessing on the battlefield in my mind's eye is no mercy. Like, the chariot, like, just say somebody in the way, and they go on and go on, and they will, the chariot will run over these people and then turn around and do it again. And then their other spirit team is coming in, slicing eyes, slicing whatever. These people's body might be breaking down migraines they might even break a leg i'm i'm not i'm telling you because that karma and with this person's power it's going to manifest in a physical this is a physical thing that this person mastered with their soul you got the ace of cups under that four of wands this person has spiritual help. And whenever they need help, they spirit team come with the energy and drop it in that cup. They are in the flow with the spiritual realm. Like I told you, Relic, this person is an old soul that has played in this illusion and won against, I mean, like, this is amazing, y'all. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? This, this is a soul that has allowed their whole being and their soul to be infected with evil. And they were able to overcome that. They were infected with evil over and over. And like it's showing me like nine, at least nine lifetimes. And they were able to come out of that with a soul on fire. Hey, do y'all know what that means? Hey. So, because of who this person is in this reality, which is this, 
somebody that's highly respected and decorated in the spiritual. This person was able to like just whoop they ass anonymously, not even like lift a finger and still blossom. Like, how you gonna go against this? This, uh, somebody like this, you funny. You funny. The spiritual realm don't know you like that. The spiritual realm ain't rocking with you like that. Lick. <laughs> These people getting beat up. This is like. Man, this is like some ghetto stuff. Like. Getting kicked all in the head and stuff. I just keep saying it. Spirit want me to not like. I just. I, I'm sorry. I, I gotta keep saying it because spirit won't let it go. It's just rotating in my mind over and over. Spirit wants me to really let y'all know how bad these people are getting beat up. Because when we talk about this messing with a chosen, a lot of times I've read. That they people, they mind be gone, like their spirit team and they letting the demons, the demons come in, they, they owe and they be taking their mind and all that. Like this person is like, man, these people are getting beat up physically. Like this, this is an immense power. Like this is the type of karma you come across this person and all of a sudden, you do something to them and you have a heart attack or you got to get like uh, your leg amputated and you don't even know like how I was fine. Now I got to get my leg amputated. Yup, because you mess with this person. You owe them a leg. Because if you would have been this, this person's enemy during these nine lives, they would have cut your leg off. But they don't have to do that. They spirit team to do that. They mastered that. Look. You got the high priestess, the ace of swords, summer, and independence. Look. This person knows who they are. They know who their soul is. Do you know the power in that? To know who you are as a soul? They know the truth of this reality. They know they are the sun. They know they can stand alone. Because their spirit team is, they got legions. When a chosen knows they are a chosen, your ass is grass. And that's why there's a big game plan with these demons to do this. This is like a war, one of their war strategies. And they just keep playing this strategy over and over and over. Let making getting these three souls together that they've already rotted. And they just like like dummies, making them go in there. They they dead inside anyway. They didn't took over their vessels. This person can see the truth of everything. And all I need to do is sit in that chair. Because they got goons. Uh, this is the first time this type of um, gift. Uh, the gift of manifestation has come up on here. The gift of healing. Um, what else? I can't think right now, but never the gift of like I mean you and you call them warriors because they are warriors. But this one right here. So let's get into the overall. This was the first card that I pulled on the overall. And I'm like, I looked at it and I'm like, are you telling me about these three people? So to clarify it, look what came up. Party. Where let me let me get this. Hold on, y'all. 
Hold on, y'all, because I got to make y'all understand. They, Spirit gave a clarification of party and taboo. The three people. They really want to clarify these three people. And remember I said the character of these three people? The Jezebel, the narc, like our God complex and just an evil, crazy person? Look. On the wall. This, the horn, I'm like, yeah, like she got it, like the dildo in her mouth. And I just like, okay, yeah, the Jezebel, the big shark teeth, the narcissist. And he's like, the, he's the big bear, the star. And then look like a harpy. The, um, is that what you call him? The, um, or a gargoyle, I would say harpy. Um, the harpy energy, like this person is just like evil, demonic, got maybe a couple of demonic energies on them. They just think real evil. So yeah, this is them. Confirmation. These three doing taboo things. Look, to trap chosen. Look at the birds of color. They got, they got bright feathers. They, they, they stand out. What stands out about um, like these three people in these cards is there's somebody, a ringleader. There's always a ringleader, but they are standing out. Look at this picture. This person is chosen. Everybody burnt out because they, they didn't get the, the chosen picture. But look at this person, how mad they are. Out of all of them, they are so mad. Even the person sitting next to them is like, damn, you mad. You big mad. You big mad. Because you found out that this person has access to the spiritual realm. That they can reach out and be taken care of by the spiritual realm. They have everything they need to survive. It will manifest out of nothing. And here goes the three again. One, two, three. Hey, this person, this one, this one might be the harpy. Because they are like so jealous. Look, the other two, they, they, they've, they've, they've all come to the conclusion like, hey, they finding out. They finding out. That this person is not to be played with. So the other two are like, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's slow down. Look. Like, oh, wait, 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 let's slow down. She like, oh, oh, let's slow down, not this one. Like, no, we gotta move forward. We're gonna win this. We're gonna do this. They really thought this was, this person, this clarified this card, this person thought they were bigger, better, smarter. Competing with this person because jealousy and all is pride and all these seven deadly sins rule these people. In order for demonic energies to get them to do dark magic and stuff on chosen. This person think they are smart ass doing magic on pure destruction. This person has the power of destruction. You talking about a soul that can call judgment on somebody else's life this right here will be one of them you ain't no genius you a dumbass 
Look. So that's what I have on my table. So let's see. We have 15 minutes already. <laughs> so let's see what spirit, <laughs> what else they have to say about this. How you gonna have the power of destruction? Ah, God trusts you so much. Look. I mean, they earned it. But <laughs> whatever. What do we need to know, spirit? Oh, I guess I won't be using those cards. They all on the floor. But anyway. What do we need to know about this spirit? They getting so beat up. They need some milk. And some morphine. <laughs> okay, let me stop. Because they missing arms and legs and shit. Give them some morphine, please. Somebody, a shot of morphine? Okay, I'm done. What do we need to know, spirit? Because that is... Y'all... Mm, eyeballs hanging and shit. Look, let's see. <laughs> we got the page of swords. Look... We have the Ten of Coins. Look. Mm -mm. <laughs> hey, before I move on, I'm like, okay. They elaborate elaborate on this, this card. Like, yeah, you thought you was a genius? No. No, you're a page of swords. You don't think straight. You just learning. You just learning that you have a mind. What are you even talking about? And this person is the Titanic. This person is an ancient soul. What else do we need to know, Spirit? Spirit want to just like confirm, like, yeah, this person's stupid. You got the Seven of Swords. Look, they are not playing. Give me something for the seven of swords. And do not play with me in these cards. When I tell you this person has mastered betrayal and war. This person has mastered letting evil take them over. And still come into the light. This person has the power of destruction. Like I said. Look at this. Like I told you. This person. I can see it in my mind's eye. This person has lived many lifetimes. Cut people's heads off. Poking them in the eye. And they stole, they soul still came out of that with wisdom. Look, look at this. Scalping people's heads and shit. They got scalps hanging from them. This was this person. Where'd it go? My cards are all tore up on here. Did I drop it? Probably. Where is it? But anyway, I was looking for the chariot. I probably blended it with another car. But anyway. No, here it is. It was in the wrong space. Like I told you, this person at one point in many lifetimes has been infected with evil. Dominating people, cutting their heads off with no problem. Look, don't play with me in these cards. I know what spirit is telling me. Amazing. What do we need to know, spirit? This person was real dumb to go again. Look at this. A page of stories. Where's your mustache? Looking crazy. Little ass kid. Going up against this. Going up against this. And 
an ancient soul that has all their energy. Their energy is on top. Ten of Pentacles sign. Their energy is sacred. Not many souls can do this. And here you go. You thought you were smart. Look at you. Oops. Look, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but he irritated my soul. Okay. I just feel like I want to bag on this person. No offense to anybody if you got little lips. I'm just saying. This dude need a mustache. Because he looking real immature. Oh my God. What a dumbass. So what do we need to know about this? We got, I don't know what he is. What is he? What does he do? We have, look. Look, he's got his weapon in his hand. And on his lifetimes being a warrior, like I told you, he reflected on what he's done and his soul became stronger and stronger man i want to cry because the spirit realm loves this person to be able to conquer that you got the two ogres i mean the ogre and the plant oh look they were able to tame the beast inside of them. They were able to prune it and shape it into something different. They were able to take their, the beast within them and actually manifest life in this realm. Look, this is like a horse and this is like a demon dragon or something. They were able to transmute that energy of the beast. I can't make this up. I just can't. I mean, who would make this up? What do we need to know, spirit? Hey, if you are a cross watcher and you've done this magic and you've looked into this person like used to after the fact, because that's what Spirit Realm usually do to people like you, is tell you the truth after the fact. You're going to be destroyed. Hey, you can't make it stop because energetically that gift that their spirit team pulled on this person wouldn't stop this person in the lifetimes that they were a beast they would have dismembered you into a thousand little pieces and their spirit team is going to do the same What do we need to know, spirit? Safe travel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Protection. <laughs> Bitch. What do we need to know, spirit? You is dumb. That's what we know. Let me see. When I tell you 
they got safe travels and protection and they are connected to their spirit team. I can't make it up. Safe travels, protection, and then nature spirits. Look. This person is so high ranking. Ugh. Hey, this was such a mistake. I mean, I read and I'm always like, it's a mistake. They made a mistake. They found out like for but for real, it seemed like every time I read for a chosen, it get worse and worse. <laughs> Cause we all different. We all move. Some of us have the same powers, but our soul is different. The knowledge in our soul is different. How how we became a chosen is different. And this one right here. <laughs> Spiritual cleansing. Give me another one, spirit. And look, I told you. Okay, let me. This person will all pathway will always be made for them. Because they are a protected warrior that is rooted in the earth realm and rooted in the spiritual realm. They have a spiritual cleansing gift from a past life. And that spiritual cleansing gift is the power of destruction. If this has helped you, please like, share, subscribe, and until next time.